Good evening. Welcome all of you to public speaking class. Today we will discuss storytelling and this procedure. So we all know what is storytelling. We all love to listen to stories. So there is a process of storytelling. Like everyone is not a good storyteller. So you, as a public speaker, you should know how you have to tell a story. So today we will discuss that. So storytelling is an art. Uh, it's not a process, method, or technique. Uh, like art, it requires creativity, vision, skill, and practice. So storytelling is not something you can grasp in one sitting after one course. So it's a trial and error process of mastery. It sounds like a lot of work, right? It is uh, rightfully so because storytelling is a crucial part of the most successful marketing campaign. It sets vibrant brands apart from simply business and loyal consumers from one type and stopping shoppers. So storytelling is an art. So if I like tell you this is the procedure, you cannot learn it. You have to uh, it, it, it should come from within, like you have to learn it by yourself. So it requires of creativity, patience, skills, and not practice. Storytelling is uh, is not something you grasp in one sitting. So, uh, like basically, in one class, you cannot learn it. And it's an art, and also it's not like very much sure that after doing one course, you can do it. It sounds like a lot of work, uh, but if you practice, if you have that talent. Can do it. Now you are thinking your storytelling is like why do in the storytelling? It's not that you have to tell the story to the kids, but sometimes uh, working for some company uh, to advertise that you need to tell some story to the customer. So you have to tell the story in such a way so that everyone will believe, everyone will be uh, like, you can convince them. This is the use of storytelling. It's also the heart of inbound marketing. The storytelling is an incredibly valuable thing for you to add to your provided marketing, marketing tool bed. That's why uh, we have compiled this guide to help you discover and understand storytelling and these cultures company tells for your audience. So since the dawn of human language, uh, storytelling has uh, been how cultures pass on straight beliefs and values. So some of the stories told uh, today come from stories our ancestors were sharing over 6,000 years ago. So every person has a story, but the art of storytelling can make a trans transformative. There are a few qualities that can push a basic story in the art of storytelling. So since the dawn of language, storytelling has been uh, subcultures pass on shared beliefs and values. So basically, stories are uh, from shared beliefs and values. So some stories uh, told today come from the stories our ancestors were shared, uh, like shared with us. That every person has some story, but the art of storytelling. Uh, can make the story transformative. There are a few qualities that can push a basic story into the art of storytelling. Narrative. So, while the city will influence uh, what a story can be, all the great stories have a narrative, a scripted or written account of events. So, for example, stand up comics sometimes tell stories during a stage. The structure, setting, and details of this narrative. may not feel the same as the doing six years late. 
but both storytellers are sharing the narrative. So story setting will influence the uh, like narrator, and all great stories have a narrative or a script and a written account of events. For example, stand-up comics sometimes tell stories with a script. So they also they are also telling some kind of story. Maybe you have seen that, and the structure, setting, details of the narrative may not feel the same as they do in Shakespeare play. But both storytellers are sharing a narrative. Attention grabbing, the main, main thing is you have to be attention grabber. So, but, but it's not enough to just tell the story, the storytelling that resonates with which will grab the attention. So there are many ways to grab and keep an audience's attention in a story. So creating suspense in one option, stories that are full of mystery are interesting because of their unanswered questions. So surprising your audience is also a great way to pull readers in. Another way to captivate your audience is to add details that bring your story to life. A popular way to describe uh, the storytelling technique is show, don't tell. So you have to like uh, make your audience visualize your story. For example, if you can say your company is launching a new product, in your story you can share details about the moment you came up with the idea. This is more exciting than telling your customers that you are about to release the best wind product. To talk about the roadblocks and small wins that they have to launch. This makes your audience feel like they are part of your process. So you have to be attention grabber. You have to uh, like make your story visualize uh, to your audience. And another way to captivate your audience is to add glitches and that brings to, uh, life to your story. So popular way to describe it to show. So for example, your company is launching a new product. Uh, in your story, you can share the details like how uh, about the moment your team came up with the idea, not just telling them what are the facilities and what are the features. You can tell them that uh, how they have uh, came up with the idea, what was the procedure and all. So the, this is more exciting than telling your uh, customers that you are about to release the best new product. To talk about the roadblocks and small wins that led up to launch, this makes the audience feel like they're part of the process. The interactive storytelling needs to be interactive. So storytelling is not just a story that you tell, it's also the way that your audience responds and engages. So some kind of uh, storytelling requires the reader to take part in the story. Like the Netflix inter interactive film, uh, but with more stories, the interaction comes from relationship that the audience built with the storyteller. The feeling of connection interaction is essential to storytelling. 
so when you're telling a story like it's not that everyone will be silent they you have to see their reaction uh you have to see how they're reacting how they're liking then you can uh, tell a better story so you have to be imaginative while telling a story suppose you are launching a brand so it's not uh, you may add something which are not true you have to be imaginative sometimes so many movies come from popular books and it's not useful for viewers to rate the quality of book best movie on the ability to match what they imagine as they read the book so there are movies which have made from uh, novels but uh, when you if you go to see the movie uh, like the you cannot relate it with the um, actual book when someone listens to storytelling they often run a picture show in their mind so it happens like what uh, i also experienced when i read a story i i can visualize it i can uh, like see it in my mind the picture uh, show can be incredibly detailed including character settings and even this uh, imaginings often pull up memories for individual readers they might see their qualities in one of the story's characters no story is complete without the listener or reader adding this imaginative details on their own telling a story is like painting a picture with words so while everyone can tell a story certain people fine tune their storytelling skills and become storyteller on behalf of the organization brand business so every member of the organization can tell a story but before we get into how let's talk about why we tell stories so what are the main thing we have to understand while well storytelling uh you have to be imaginative you have to uh, like you so that your audience can visualize your story you have to tell the story in such a way you have to uh, like uh, tell something which the audience can relate to it we you have to be funny you have to interact with the audience so this way you can make your uh, storytelling interesting so now there are so many uh, person who tell stories not everyone may tell this story so there are some good storytellers only who can grab your attention you can see the point hmm Okay, why do we tell stories? Uh, there are a variety of reasons to tell stories, like to sell, entertain, and educate, or brag. We will talk about that below. Right now, I want to discuss why we choose storytelling over, uh, say, a data-driven PowerPoint or bulleted list. Why are stories our go-to way of sharing, explaining, and selling information? So, stories solidify abstract concepts and simply. by complex messages we have all experienced confusion when trying to understand a new idea stories offer a way around that think about times when stories have helped you better understand a concept maybe your favorite teacher used to real life example to explain a math problem maybe a pre teacher illustrated a situation during a sermon or a speaker you used to feel started to convey complex data stories help solidify abstract concepts and simplify complex messages 
taking a lofty non tangible concept and relating it to using ideas it one of the biggest strengths of storytelling in business so for example take apple computers and smartphones are a pretty complicated topic to describe to your consumer so using real life stories they have been able to describe exactly how their products benefit users so they use storytelling instead of relying on technical jargon that few customers would understand stories promote and shape ideas so throughout history people have used stories to promote co cooperation and influence social behaviors and there is scientific evidence that stories can change behavior this is because stories engage our emotions so even if you are stressed out you can connect with the story the connection might lead you to less critical about facts data is powerful but data without storytelling can result confusion frustration and confliction on opinion so uh, what does story do story can reduce stress if you are very much stressed out you can uh, like take help of a story it will shape your ideas uh, and it um, like solidify abstract concepts and simplify complex messages Okay, it brings people together also. So this is how you have to uh, like your storytelling. These these are some techniques, some con concepts. Now, if you have any question, you can ask me. so words like good or bad are related to user opinion but there are few non negotiable components that make a great storytelling experience so good stories uh, and it should be for good reader and the teller who is reading the story and who is telling the story it should be like uh, convenient for both so good stories have uh, should be entertaining it should entertain and engage the audience believable you cannot tell something which the audience cannot believe educational there should be some uh, educational theme uh, some models a good story is for curiosity and add to the reader's knowledge bank relatable with which the audience can relate with it should be organized and it should be memorable stories inspire and motivate uh, stories make us human and the same goes for brands so when brands they transparent and authentic it brings them down to earth and helps consumers connect with them and the people behind them so tapping into people's emotions and bearing both the good and bad is how stories inspire and motivate and eventually drive action so stories also foster brand loyalty creating a narrative uh, around your brand or product not only humanizes it but also inherently markets your business you can you have to like make your story relatable believable and also you cannot tell something which your audience will not believe so this is this is the way uh, these are some techniques of storytelling okay so we will conclude the session here thank you for your attention